James Festini, welcoming you to Planet Internet. Welcome, Festini Mafia. Guess who's back? Back again. That's right, I picked up my snapsicles and I'm putting them back on. And uh, I'm going to continue to post all of my content primarily on Snapchat. And then I'm going to take it from Snapchat at the end of the day, download it. I was just far more efficient using Snapchat than I was even Instagram stories. Just too many clicks. This one. And then at the end of the day, one piece, one post, propagated, syndicated, perpetuated. We are going to be hitting the streets today. Door knocking. Uh, I'm going to go for 200 doors right now, really. And then uh, sit down and get hitting the phones and then tonight i'm gonna hugar al tennis here we are live on the internet we got one person come on down one person we're gonna teach you how to door knock like a king door knock king you know sometimes sometimes you think that there's not any doors opening Ooh, that's a pretty plant let's see a picture does your false impression set you up for false expectations thus in turn setting you up for real failure hey james what does that mean it means that if you get the impression here's an impression i have formed an impression in this particular neighborhood that there is a dominating agent and i've done a course before a youtube video and you can go look for it on the internet and that was how to beat the top competition People ask me all the time, how do I beat the top competition? What do I do if the market is saturated with a particular agent? And when I moved into this particular territory or to try to dominate it, I thought to myself, oh man, I see that guy's name everywhere. Not only that, on a couple of doors as I went through, people would be like, well, if I was gonna, if I was gonna sell my house, I would use that agent, okay? That's what I kept hearing. So I thought, uh-oh, this is the Festini of this neighborhood. But what you might not realize is that when a number one agent dominates a territory, there's also a high probability that that same number one agent also has just as many trolls and haters as they do fans in that community, believe it or not. How do I know this? Because I have been the dominant force in a community, in a territory, and I hear the rumors when somebody says, Oh, James, you know, I, I wasn't going to go with you because I heard this. I go, really? Well, now that you meet me, you know, it's not true. I was just in a, in a cul-de-sac where I knew that this agent in this territory is dominating and the guy's grandparents live right next door. So I knocked on a door right next door and I said, hey, by the way, is that that guy's house? He goes, that's his grandparents' house, but I would never use him. Da -da -da -da. He just started ripping into him like, all right. He said, you know, his wife never smiles, and any time I've ever talked to him, he was a complete jerk, totally rude. He sells houses for too little. I mean, every, <laughs> every one in the book he threw. Well, I just got a really good lead, a really good lead, and I'm running to the office right now to go put together the slam package. If you guys don't know what that is, you should be a member of the Festini Mafia, jamesfestini.com forward slash training. Alright, daddy's home and I'm going I'm waiting for my snapsicles to show up. I keep checking the front, but Amazon's not telling me where my snapsicles are at. They're in Chino somewhere. Daddy's home. Yay, hey, are you jumping rope? Let's see. Show me how you got. Oh yeah, you're getting oh, you're getting much better. Let me get these. These are beautiful roses and beautiful wife. Okay, no paparazzi for her. Belinda Country Club. Nobody saw me come in, and I'm a guest. And here are the tennis courts. Open. Sometimes I forget how much I love tennis until I get out and play, and I got to play with people that were pretty good. I have lights. I can tell you one thing for sure: 
It is a Friday night and now I know where all the people are at in this town on Friday night and it's not at the bars, it's not at the clubs. It's at the country club. That place is packed inside the bar and all the people and you know what kind of gets me is one of the agents I know, he does pretty good, he's there and I think this is where the realtor's got to be. So could you imagine if I had a membership? I'd be like, I have a membership to the country club. <laughs> I'd get a sticker, wouldn't I? Maybe some embroidered shirts that says, <laughs> I'm a country club member. I gotta tell you something though. I have a feeling that's where the real estate agents are hanging on a Friday night, the country club. That'd be the way to do it. A lot of good networking in there. And they're all drinking and having a good time and I'm going home to... All right, everybody, they have arrived. The Snapsicles, some of you don't know, but uh, these are the reason why I was able to remain really consistent with the vlog was putting these on my face. These are Snapchat's glasses, but they're really good glasses and uh, I've missed them ever since I let them go. And to be quite honest, they fit my face. So let's, uh, let's pair them to the system. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and of course, I changed my Bitmoji to have the snapsicles. So if you notice, fashion statement. All right, it's bedtime, Jenny. Jenny's gonna sleep. Jenny's already asleep. Anyhow, good night, guys. I'm gonna produce. Uh, I'm gonna be able to pull off this vlog production right now, and then start tomorrow with uh, almost a hybrid of snapsicles and the others. It's just gonna be better. I promise. Uh -huh.